Hey guys, how's it going? It's Target here. Welcome back to another episode of the Buffalo Sabres Be a GM. Sorry, I gotta fix my stand again. I don't know how this happens all the time. Um, so we're at the trade deadline. I asked you guys, you know, is it the right thing just going in with the way we have? Some people did want me to pick up Zetterberg. Like, I don't know why. Um, Cronwall was also thrown out there, but uh, nothing much else besides that. Obviously the usual. Um, I think I'm just gonna go into the deadline and see what might come up. You know, I'm, I don't think that it's gonna happen. If our first, we keep our first round pick, it's not such a bad thing, you know? All right, let's uh, continue because we already updated our trading box. So right off the bat, look at this. Gergensen's for Herbst, a second, and Mike Brown. Why would I want to do that? No. Unless I was going to pick up Brian Boyle. Absolutely not. And an 8-2 to two loss. Holy shit, maybe we should make a trade. All right, uh, Montreal is calling. Let's see what Montreal has. Matt Bolesky for our third. Now, Matt Bolesky, fourth line forward, a grinder. I've always liked Matt Bolesky. Discipline-wise, he's actually quite disciplined. Um, it's not a bad trade. Who do we have on our fourth line right now? If I look at forwards. Let's go by overall. I can't remember anymore. Uh, oh, right. We've got a couple guys playing out of their position. Uh, Luke Adam, Nick Baptiste. How, what kind of a year is Baptiste having? Ten points. I suppose it's not too bad. Three and a half star player. Young. Give him, I'd give, rather give him the opportunity than Matt Bolesky. Uh, and then met, uh, Marcus Foligno. No, I mean, not. I don't think that's a good trade. No. Sorry. It, it doesn't really give me anything that. Any wow. There's no wow factor. So Dallas got Cronwall for first and Lynn back. That's a heavy deal. Heavy, heavy deal. So that means that there's a couple still out there from Detroit. Uh, there they are. I bet you it's Tatar again. Or Nyquist, part of me. Gustav Nyquist for two seconds. No, that's okay. I don't need to add Gustav. I mean, he's a, a probably a decent shooter. He's got 25 goals this year. 54 points in 61 games. He's having a great year, but he's benefiting from playing with, like, Pavel Datsuk, probably. I mean, Pavel Datsuk's 93 overall or something ridiculous. Uh, nothing there. I don't think that we're going to see that, that crazy trade that we were thinking of. Here's Vancouver. Probably one of the Sedins. No, nope, Verbata, right? How could I forget? 83 overall sniper. Why? Why would, I, why would you think that I want that guy? No, and we got one more hour left of trading. Here it is. Who's calling? Oh, Vancouver and Detroit. Vancouver wants Verbata. I'll tell you, no, that's absolutely not happening. And Detroit, two seconds for Gustav Nyquist. No, that's okay. Like, what's this trade? I mean, trade value-wise, it's not bad. It's pretty even. But I'm going to go ahead and say no. I'm going to go ahead and say no. What picks do we have? We just got our first, two seconds, three-thirds. Yeah, no, that's okay. I'd rather pick. I'd rather make the selections. I know we're gonna have too many players, but you could. We'd actually might grab some players off of uh, off waivers here, like uh, Chasen might end up on uh, waivers. Maybe we'll see. You can see there's a bunch of guys that went through waivers. We'll see. Oh, nobody. Oh wait, it waits a day. It waits a day. Here you go, Chris Thorburn, Nate Prosser. So those are the only guys. Uh, 75 overall, no, and no, he's old. That's <laughs> no, okay. GM rep, I don't like I don't like that. Your GM rep drops if you don't make a trade. Like, I'm forced to make a trade. Somebody's holding a gun to my head. You make that trade. You make that trade right now because you, your GM will drop. No one likes you. What? Because I don't want to do a shitty deal? Or a deal that doesn't really help my club? Yeah, right. Come on, EA. Stupid. And we're losing in a row. This is one of the things that drives me crazy about this game. Or that I've noticed anyway. Is that if you don't make a deal on trade deadline, you tend to lose. All right. We got here. We haven't scouted the queue at all. Let's check that for a month. Uh, there's an American named Boucher playing in the Quebec Major Junior Leagues. What the hell was he? You got an American flag. There you go. So there's a win there. And we're back up to five phones. Yay! Um, we need to keep going here. We need to have a good finish to this season. Uh, no no slacking. There's a slack and win right there. We are lost in overtime. Lost in overtime. Uh, how are these guys doing? 35, 26, and 4. So they're in about the same boat as we are. And a loss. Yeah, this is going to be the tough part. And somebody said it before, you know, you shouldn't trade away all your vets. You're right. We shouldn't. But we have a lot of veteran players in the forward core. We have a lot. I mean, you got Eric Stahl. You got Ryan Kessler. Uh, Matt Molson. Uh, I mean, Martin San Louis. You can't uh, go against that. You got Daly. He's even considered a veteran. And Tyler Myers. Those are all vets, guys. We got tons of vets in the lineup. So there's no reason why we can't actually take some of these wins and go deep into the season. That may be why we're seeing some success here at the end is that we do have this veteran core. You know, that, that we're going to probably lose Martin Saint-Louis after this season. 
well, he's had another. He's having another great year, so it is the po it is possible that we stick. He sticks around, but it's not like we'll be in a trouble if we don't. You know, if he retires, we've got a ton of talent. I mean, w there's guys still coming through the pipe. I mean, Gergensen's could have a huge jump. Larson could have a huge jump. He could end up being a first line sniper, or sorry, a second line sniper instead of a third line. That's a very real possibility. And then you're left with a really good lineup with Reinhardt centering it. You could trade Stahl. Or you could trade Kessler, whichever one you want to keep. I'd probably keep Kessler uh, and trade Eric Stahl because we need more two-way type players like Kessler. He's great for the second line. And Eric Stahl probably has a little bit higher trade value. Now, we've lost a few in a row here. Lots, they're all in overtime from the looks of it, though. So that one was not. You can't you can't lose 2-0 in OT. It doesn't work like that. Um, now, is that we're at the end of the month. We're at the end of the year here, aren't we? No, March. How many more games do we have? All right, so we got one, hold on, one, two, three, four, five games left, all right? And where do we sit in the standings? Uh, we're at 38 wins. We are currently in, hold on, goals, assists, we are up there for assists still. Um, oh, we're actually on the precipice at this, oh, no, we're in. We're pretty much in the playoffs at this point, unless Carolina goes on a miracle, or Columbus goes on a miracle run, or Pittsburgh. But we've got it pretty much held down in our division. So we got to win a couple games here, so we are going to go probably... Let's go to the uh, let's go to this game, and then we'll we'll revisit where we are in the standings. We'll finish the year, then we'll do a year in review. Let's see. I think that we have. There you go, four one win. And the other thing we're gonna do is well, if we do get to the playoffs here, there's two wins in a row. Nice. We're gonna turn on injuries. Guys wanted to see injuries. We're gonna be going slower anyway, so it'll give me the opportunity to. Uh, oops, pardon me. It'll give me the opportunity to kind of assess in or you know assess the team, take a look at it. And not rush through. So it won't be interrupting anything by doing that. Um, here, let's check here. Top 10. Flurry. Okay, so now standings. We won two in a row there. Um, that puts us at 92 points. So now we sit second. How? Where? Are, where's the? Who's the leader in the league in points? Chicago. Okay, so they can't be caught. And we're not going to catch even Minnesota. But we could win the Eastern Conference. That's very possible. So let's go up to... Let's sim the rest of the year. We got six points available. We could get to 98 points if we win all three games. 98 points. That's definitely a playoff appearance. Uh, hopefully we can do it. I mean, there's one. We uh, we benefited from losing a lot of games in overtime this year. I mean, 12 losses in OT. That that's a big boost. That's a that's 12 extra points. You know, if you lose those ones in regulation, then all of a sudden we're actually 39 losses, and that's not a good that's not a good year at all. So and that's Oh, we didn't quite get this. So we could get to 96 points if we win this one. <laughs> yeah, we do. So a 5-4 to four win against the Tampa Bay Lightning finishes things off. Uh, goals against and save percentage, we're not going to be up there. We are up there for wins, tied for first. Uh, Buffalo did not have any point producers that end up there. Um, assists, we actually got bumped off the list, Martin Saint-Louis. Uh, Eric Stahl, 29 goals. He finished the, league with, or the, the, the year with that. And we actually finished second in the Eastern Conference, only behind the Tor Toronto Maple Leafs. And... Um, well, look at the Central Division. You got guys with 90 points out of the playoffs. Actually, no, they're in. Nashville's in. Um, Anaheim is out. Yeah, Anaheim is out. That's what happened there. That was a close. That was a close run. And then on our side, you got guys making the playoffs with 87 points. You know, so that's, that's a little retarded, but whatever. It is what it is. So we will end up playing. We'll find out who. We'll do a, a year. Actually, you know what? We'll find out who we're gonna play in the playoffs first. Uh, let's go to the 12th. Because they usually give you two days off between your regular season game and your playoff game. Oh, maybe even more. Oh. We might actually be playing the 14th. There you go. So we'll be playing the Montreal Canadiens in the first round of the playoffs. But first, we need to go stats. We have to take a look at the team standings. Let's see how things went. So we finished 7th in the league. 96 points. Our goals 4 per game. Actually, we were at 2.77. So that did drop. We were at 2.9. Our goals against 2.78. So you did see that drop a little bit. We are, we are trending downwards there. Our power play went up even, uh, actually dropped a little because we were at 18, so it went down to 17.2. Our penalty kill dropped 3%, uh, and time shorthanded, we went to 10. So we didn't get as many opportunities to kill, and we also did not kill as many, basically, because of that. Player stats, uh, San Luis, I didn't see him in the points, so I, I think he dropped off of that point per game uh, quite dramatically. Uh, it'll be interesting to see where Reinhardt is. 
I bet you that he led the league in rookie rookie scoring. Martin Stanley was 79 points, so he put up even better than last year. He had 78, so great production from San Luis. Molson had 70 points. He had 73 last year. Great numbers for him. Uh, Eric Stahl had 65, so it's a little bit lower. Uh, Sam Reinhardt, 63 points in his rookie campaign. That's unbelievable. Uh, in today's day and age, you get 63 points as a rookie. That's that's insane. Uh, Zuccarello had 57, so that is quite a drop for him because he was at 70, 74. Uh, Kessler only 56 points. Again, bit of a that's about average for him, I suppose. Tyler Myers, 35. He's a defenseman. Larson, 32 points. A drop. We knew that would happen. Gergensen's at 22. That's an increase for him. Not as much as that first year. Uh, McCabe at 20 points. And I'm not too worried about the rest. Let's take a look at goalies. Uh, we're getting a 90 percentage. 90 save percentage from each of those guys. So, I mean, that's the, that's the nature of it. Let's take a look at rookie skaters. And I'm going to go all the way to the NHL. And let's find out which rookie skater had the most points in the NHL. Oh, look at Wenberg here. 84 overall right winger. Alexander Wenberg. Four yellow stars. Oh, he scored a lot. He had 47 assists. He's a good passer. That's why. Uh, but, I mean... Sam Reinhardt had the most points, so I think he'll win it. Rocco Grimaldi had 59 as an 82 overall player. Dear Jesus. Morgan Klimchuk. Look at that shot. Holy crap. 20 goals. We might have to go after Morgan Klimchuk, guys. 20 goals in his rookie campaign. Good for him. And Hunter Shinkarik had 24 goals in his rookie campaign, but his, his trade value will be through the roof. Uh, Max Domi, there he is. Left wing playmaker. He got ended up with uh, 51 points, so nice to see these young guys breaking into the NHL uh, and, you know, servicing so well. Look at this. Mark McNeil, 85 overall power forward, playing in his first NHL year. You know, a lot, Griffin Reinhardt, 86. So, I mean, the highest overall would probably be our boy, but uh, in terms of forwards. So, it's that was that's pretty good. So, let's just go um, to customize. We're going to go to settings, uh, rules, and then we're going to scroll down. Oh, pardon me. We're going to scroll down and we're going to go... Injuries on, okay? So now, I'm not going to call anybody up right now. We're going to see what happens here. This will make things a little bit more interesting through the playoffs. And then, depending on uh, injuries, we'll make some call-ups, okay? So let me go to coaching options first. We're going to view the lines. See how we stack up against the Montreal Canadiens, all right? See if we'll first take a look at ours. Martin San Luis, Eric Stahl, Mar and uh, Ryan Kessler. Then we got Molson, Reinhardt, and Zuccarello. We got Grigorenko, Gergensens, and Larson, and then Felino, Adam, and Baptiste. Okay. On defense, we got Daly and Myers, McCabe and Ristolainen, and Zadorov and Pissick. Okay, so let's head on over. Oh. My God. There we go. Let's head on over to Montreal. So they got Galchenyuk, Pacioretty, and Parento. I'd say, I'd give us the edge on that one. The second line of Darnay, Plakanich, and Gallagher. It's pretty close, but I'll take the edge. Uh, the third line of Eller, Prust, and Borneval. I'd take the edge on that one, too. And Moen, Weiss, and uh, Sekak. We got a slight edge there. Defense, though, Tenorti and Subban, they've got us beat. Uh, the second pairing is pretty even. And the third pairing, we've got an edge. Goaltending, I don't even think you need to compare. Uh, Price, and then what are we? What are, what's our guy? What's his overall, 85? Yeah, Neuwirth is 85. So, nothing special there. So, it's going to come down to us being able to beat Carey Price. So, let's get into this thing. <coughs> Pardon me. Injuries on. First game of the playoffs for the Buffalo Sabres with me behind the helm as GM. First period, 1-1. Reinhardt scores on Carey Price. All right, so it can be done. Second, 2-1. Luke Adams scores. And the third period, oh, 3-3. We're going overtime. We're going to go by time six. See who can score here. We're getting outshot by a little bit here. Uh, oh, and then there's Dale Weiss on uh, David Weiss. Dale? Dale Weiss on uh, Neuwirth. I always get Davids and Dales mixed up. I don't know why. All right. So not bad, not a bad performance for our first one. We take it over time. We do have home ice advantage, so I do expect, uh, you know, a little bit more from our team. You know, getting that home ice advantage. Sam Reinhardt scores two goals in his first NHL playoff game. All right, here we go. Game two, also at home. HSBC Arena, first period. Two to one. There you go. That's the kind of start you want. McCabe gets the first power play goal. Match pa Max Patch already scores for Montreal and Larson for us. Second period. Oh my god, 3-2, Gallagher and Plakanich. We go to the third period. We're going to go time six because we are down. We are out shooting them right now. Uh, but the Buffalo Sabres having a hard time dealing with the Montreal Canadiens. There you go, Martin saint Louis, old gray bush. Ties things up at three. Five minutes left in the third period. Looks like this one's destined for OT for the second game in a row. Fans are definitely getting their money's worth here at this. I mean, you pay for a ticket, you're getting four periods. Wow, power plays for Montreal, but we killed both those off. 
Those are those penalty kills that you can, you have to kill. You don't want to take penalties though. Second overtime. Oh shit, that was Sack, uh, Sekak. Sekak on Neuvert in the second overtime. And we're down 2 nothing in this series. Reinhardt gets another uh, assist in that game. So he's got three points through two games. Good production. Now this is a year where I didn't expect us to make the playoffs. Well, I expected to make the playoffs, but you know what? It's bit by bit. You have to build. We're not quite there yet, but... Uh, Let's see what we can do here in uh, the third game. We don't want to go down by down by three because that's pretty much the end. So first period. Oh, Jesus. Plakanic, Gallagher, Galchenyuk down three nothing. Second period. Still three nothing. We're going to go to the third. I don't have much hope for this one at this point. You're down three nothing. Game, uh, game three. You've already given up two games in a row. Power play. You can't score. And that's the way it'll finish. So three nothing will be the final in game three. We had no response. Neuverth let in three goals on 11 shots. That's that's not enough. You need to stop some more than that. All right. Game four. I don't know what else I can do to my team except just ride what we've had. I mean, it hasn't been working against these guys, but maybe we can pull it a win. First period. Four to one. Oh, my God. Grigorenko, McCabe, Adam, and Gergensen's That third line getting things done. Second period. Five to one. Gergensen scores on Fukali's in that. That's the, that's the reason why we're scoring. Is Fakali's in net. And we got Tukarski in. Or no, they got Tukarski. And Fukali. So what happened to Price? He might be hurt. Third. Oh my god, that was close. 5 for the final. Oh my. Kerry Price injured? This could be the opportunity that we needed. Let me take a look here. Um, Injury report. Malkin. Hold on. Let me go to... Uh, is it Stats? No. I can't. GM options, maybe. It's under leak news. Injury report. There you go. Let's take a look at Montreal. Injuries. NHL. Oh, it's Buffalo. Uh, let's take a look at Montreal. Carey Price needs to be evaluated. So, Carey Price is out, guys. And all they have is Tukarski and, uh, and Fukali. So, we could really take this thing to the cleaners if we wanted to. Oh, my goodness. An opportunity for the Buffalo Sabres. Montreal's best player... Uh, edit lines manually. Cody Mc Rochester. Oh, there we go. I don't really care. All right, here we go. Game four, game five. Game five at home. First period, no goals. Oh my goodness. Second period, still no goals. All right, we go to the third. We haven't been able to score on Takar. Oh, Neuverth gets scored on by Moen. Oh no. I'm going to go times four now. Oh, there we go. Times four. Come on, guys. Power play. Come on. You got to solve them. It's a backup goalie in. It's the two backup goalies tending the net. Third string. Oh my goodness. We can't do it. Come on, guys. Come on. One goal. Yes. Reinhardt on Tukarski with a minute left in the third period. Buffalo's dreams are still... Ah! Oh! No. No. Oh my god. The golden child, Reinhardt. I thought we had that. I thought we were back in this. Could not solve Tukarski this time. Oh, jeez. You know what? You can't always, you know, expect that the team's going to shut things down that well. Or you know, that they're going to fall apart because their goalie did. Yeah, you know, it's just not going to happen. Son of a bitch. Ugh, that frustrates me. But that's okay. That's okay. We're going to keep injuries on throughout the rest of the playoffs. Um, I don't see any need to do anything else right now. Um, so guys, that's where we're going to leave it. When we come back, it will, we'll sim to the, sim through the regular, the rest of the season here, or the rest of the playoffs, uh, get into the draft, take a look at what we've got. We still have that pick. So that's nice. Maybe some new players come available and we're going to have some cap space too. So we might be able to go after a free agent as well. All right, guys, that's where I'm going to leave this one. Thanks for watching until next time. I'm target audience and I'll catch you guys out on the ice.